Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I want to introduce Plotly. With this library, you can draw beautiful and interactive plots easily. Let's check out some of these graphs. So as you saw, we can make interactive and beautiful plots using Plotly. Comparing the static view of some conventional libraries, this interactive charts is somehow changing mood. One of the problem of Plotly compared to other uh, libraries was that it has a more complex syntax. So in order to uh, fix this issue, they I'll introduce Plotly Express. The purpose of this wrapper was that it makes a simple syntax for complex chart. By installing Plotly version 4, uh, you will also get Plotly Express. If you look at this syntax and we compare it to the previous slide, we can definitely see that it is much more simpler. In some videos, we will check out some of these charts. Let's look at some basic uh, configuration of Plotly Express. Before you can import Plotly Express, uh, you should also install Pandas. There are some datasets come with Plotly Express. For example, in here I import stocks from the uh, data section. So as you can see, it's a bunch of prices for different companies. I call this data frame DF. We got 105 entries for each company. So the convention of drawing a chart using Plotly Express is that first you should define the type of the chart you want. I use line for example. And then you should obviously define the inputs of that chart. In here I got a data frame. So first I pass that and after that I must specify the data for y and x axis the first thing to notice that for each data point we got this our data and we got the values corresponding to that position and in top of the chart we got a bunch of options the first option is for downloading graph as an image the next one is zoom actually we can drag on some part of this chart to zoom in and we can double click on the chart to go back to the default setting we got this pan option to move forward and backward notice the date is changing we got this manual zoom in and zoom out we got this auto scale uh, works as the same of double click you just set the axis to the default setting we got this reset axis i will uh, explain this option later we got this toggle of spike lines that will draw to perpendicular lines for each data point and the next one is about how the data shown on hovering the data points I will explore that in the next example. This time for y-axis I pass two inputs. Now if I hover the data for the nearest data point will be shown. But now I can use this option to compare data. The other uh, setting is specifying the range of values for y and x axis we can use a title for the plot and we can also change the labels 
For labels parameter, we should pass a dictionary. The key of that dictionary is the previous label of that axis. If I go back to the previous chart, we got value for the y axis. So I pass value for key of this dictionary and for value, I give my desired name and I change date to time. Finally, we got height and width. With these two parameters, we can set the width and height of our figure in pixels. We can also set some templates for our figures. If I look at the IO section of Plotly, I can see a list of available templates. For example, Plotly Dark will look like this and ggplot looks like this. So there were some basic uh, configuration for using Plotly Express. In next videos, we will look at some more detailed examples. If you find this video helpful, please support this channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel.